When it comes to email marketing, you know that automation is, oh my goodness, it is number one. It is the king of everything. With automation, you truly have that life of freedom. Now, there are many tools that will help you to do automation well, and one of my favorite tools is ConvertKit. So in this tutorial, I want to show you how I use sequences and automations to really scale my business, and it is a tutorial, so you will be able to do the work as well. So let's dive into the tutorial. Before I dive into this tutorial, however, I wanna ask you a big, massive favor, and that is, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell we publish videos three times a week and we publish tutorials and all sorts of good stuff to help you to grow your business scale and make money online so you can see that right now we can't even click on this because we are currently on a free account so inside of automations oh my goodness automations is the holy grail of having an online business and it is automations that really does this for you so um to be honest my recommendation is to make sure that you upgrade so that you have access to automation so i'm go going to show you what that looks like in my other account that i do use for my business i have uh, several accounts with convertkit but very quickly if i click on uh, over on automations right now it's, you know, it, it says that I can start a free trial of automations. I believe it gives you a 14 day free trial. So read through all of these things. And when your trial ends, it's $29 uh, dollars per month for 1000 subscribers. But I tell you something, it is 100% worth it. This is what has really, really changed my business. So to start your free trial, all you have to do is click over here at start your free trial. And then you put in your uh, credit card details, your CVC, your card expiration date, the postcode, and then you click over here to start your free trial. And, and there you go. So now I want to log into my other ConvertKit account, which is the account that I use to run one of my businesses. And I want to show you what automation looks like and what it has done for my business. And of course, how to use it. Okay, so I'm now inside my other account. So I want to show you some of the automations that I have, and there's a specific one that I actually want to show you. You can see that this is the holy grail of how I run my business. So let me just find that and show that to you. Here, here we go, master funnel. This is a very, very important funnel uh, automation that I want to show you. So if I open this, you can see that over here, these are all opt-in forms, right? That people have opted in for, right? and I have loads of these and so what happens is that when people grab anything free from me they get tagged which is what you know this this is the green stuff is they go into a sequence immediately there are timers they are segmented based on what what action they took so for example let's imagine somebody has bought this product right uh convertkit knows it tags them and if they and it waits two days and then it puts them into this sequence here so this sequence is around about six months for the entire thing so that means that if i want to take a six month holiday from my business i can literally do that right now and not have to write a single email because i have worked hard and put in this sequence into my business and this was all thanks to the automations inside of convertkit so that that's how powerful it is. Now, how do you create yours? So we go back over here to the general automations. Before you can create automations, you need to create something known as a sequence. So let's have a look at that. So over here, I'm going to click on sequence over here. And again, we have literally, I don't even know how many sequences we have, close to 100 at least, uh, sequences for various uh, emails. So to create a sequence, uh, to create an automation, you begin with a sequence. So we are on the sequence page, you click on new sequence over here. The first thing you want to do is name your sequence. So I'm going to call this YouTube demo. Uh, personal note for myself, delete after. So I remember to delete this. So this is my YouTube demo. So you click on create sequence over here. And then you want to start building out your emails. Now, how do you do this? One of the best ways that I teach my clients to build out sequences is to make sure that you have an offer on the back of them. So your minimum sequence should really be five emails and that's for like a welcome series. So let's say somebody grabs your email, uh, sorry, grabs your lead magnet, you begin with your uh, welcome series. So we have a series called story selling series. And the purpose of this is to build that know, like and trust factor. And it's one of the things inside of my uh, program 
And so over here, you want to add your own uh, subject line. So add subject here. Then you add your email, right? Add email body uh, over here. Uh, forget, you know, all of this. It's just for demonstration, obviously. Once you do that, what you want to do is leave this as after day one. Make sure you publish this. So hit publish. And then what you want to do is you want to add another few emails so to begin with your very first sequence should be about five emails which is your welcome sequence so that's email one email two email three email four email five now just a, a word of advice for how this should go i highly recommend that on email three you send some sort of offer some sort of call to action now it could be a call to action to schedule a call with you it could be a call to action to watch uh, uh, a webinar a masterclass. it could be a call to action to go to a sales page it doesn't matter it is completely up to you if you have a business coach make sure you get some advice if you want some more advice on this comment below and i'm happy to share a little bit more uh, with you but you want to make sure you start with your welcome series we have series that go for days and weeks even but this is your minimum to start with once you have created this and you have written down written all of your emails and they are all uh, published so over here let's hit make sure this is published whoops I have to add something I add email oh publish let's see if it will do it here for me published over here etc there's something else I want to show you this is a filter so you can use this to filter out anybody who you do not want to receive this email so let's imagine that your call to action so let's go to day three so this would be your email for day three so this is day one day two day three let's imagine that your call to action let me publish this first so that we can actually use it. Let's imagine that your call to action is schedule a call with me, right? You do not want people who have already scheduled a call with you to schedule a call with you again. So in this instance, you hit this uh, funnel looking thing over here, triangular thing, and then you want to exclude subscribers from this email matching you add the filter and you add the tag so subscribe to tags and then over here you select the tag for whatever it is so if i go over here you can see that i have literally hundreds of tags <laughs> over here in my account because i use this to really build my business right so i would select the tag that is suitable and once it's selected it means that whoever receives this email uh, sorry whoever has this tag will not receive this email so this is one of the ways that you can uh just be more diligent with your subscribers and make sure that you are not sending them information that they do not need so let's imagine your sequence is completely done it is done you come back over here to automations right so now we're ready to set up an automation so in the automations tab you click on new automation over here and again you want to name this so youtube demo is what i'm going to name it and a personal note to self now to to uh, complete your automation you click over here at can create automation so now you want to use joins form so the first thing you want to do is you want to select uh, the form that people have joined so it could be your landing page your form for your lead magnet or it could be joins a tag or it could be custom field like the world is your oyster so let's keep it simple at joins a form any form you don't want to do that you want to click on any you know you want to choose one of your forms so let's say i choose uh this lead magnet stories that convert right so this is one of my lead magnets so let's say somebody joins this form you then click on add event over here right so now you can build your automation either this way or this way so i'm going to click this the next thing you want you might want to do is you want to add a tag you must tag everybody who has uh who has joined your your business in some way so that you have uh so that you have all the information about them about that specific subscriber so i'm going to choose this one oops it hasn't done it let me do that again Okay, click on add action and now what I'm saying to ConvertKit is when somebody joins this form or grabs this lead magnet I want you to tag them and then I also want you ConvertKit to email them to add them to a sequence so over here I'm going to uh, type in hold on let's do that again sequence so I'm going to add them to I think I created a YouTube demo oops 
demo delete after that was a sequence and so now i can click on add action over here and now i have created a very simple automation just three steps right somebody grabs this i want you to tag them and i want you to add them to this sequence that's all i have done and to finish off you have to click over here to turn it on and that's it your automation is now turned on so that means that all of these things will be happening in your sleep, right? So you never just want to send a lead magnet and leave it there. You want to send out a lead magnet. You want to tag them. You want to put them in a sequence so that your business actually grows. This is very, very important. Very important. If there is one thing not to miss out, it's definitely this because this is going to be the key to actually, uh, to actually growing your business financially. So this is how to create automations in your business. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got a lot of value from that. If you don't already have a convert kit account i have a link below this video that helps you to get started for free now before i go i want you to check out this full walkthrough tutorial for how i use convert kit and all the automations that i use there's a bonus in there as well so make sure you check it out and don't forget to subscribe to this channel see you in my next video